Hey y'all, just uh, heading over to my parents' house on this Memorial Day to help Dad uh, uncover the pool. They have a uh, concrete pool in ground, 30,000 gallon, pretty big pool. That pool's been there so long, my dad grew up on the same street that my parents live on, and uh, he used to swim in that pool as a kid. And he's, uh, what is he? He'll be 78 years old in December. So, been there a while. Still in pretty good shape. It's been remodeled a couple of times and all. And uh, my parents are better prepared than most people, as you might imagine. Even though they live in town, they have, well, that's a 30,000 gallon source of water. Um, they have a generac hooked to their house. They have years worth of food, plenty of ammo. And I use that word plenty, not loosely. When I say plenty, I mean it. Um, one area they might be lacking a little bit is uh, medical supplies, but They've got dad's prescriptions and everything. They've got extras of that. They've got some antibiotics on hand and all that stuff. But uh, my wife was uh, up throwing up all night. And it made me realize one thing I didn't have on hand was activated charcoal. And so I'm going to get some of that before I head home today. I mean, she was really sick last night. So, uh, that's going to happen. But there's alternatives to activated charcoal. You don't have to buy it. You know, you can use charcoal out of a fire. Uh, you can uh, intentionally uh, blacken bread and use that. I think the charcoal probably works a little better. You could just eat the charcoal, which would be nasty um, or you can crush it up and mix it with some water or something maybe some ginger ale I don't know um, that'll help but if y'all didn't know this uh, and you probably do but one thing you can have on hand that helps with mild indigestion is peppermint candies I've got a about a five gallon container of those just for that reason um, there are lots of things you can use for indigestion or being sick you know physically throwing up activated charcoal is a good one I try to keep some ginger ale on hand too or you know at least Sprite or something like that but that's not always going to be available Charcoal will always be available. Um, it probably wouldn't even hurt, hurt to uh, have a jar of it, you know, pre-prepared. Get some charcoal and crush it up into a fine powder. Take less time, because you know time can be of the essence when you're when you're physically ill like that. And if you have to. If you're the one that's sick and you're having to do it for yourself, the, the less time it takes to prepare, the better off you are. So, since it's still commercially available right now, I'm going to get some activated charcoal. But, you know, the worst happens, then I'll start making my own. And it's not like it's something you need to practice at. It's pretty freaking self-explanatory. You make charcoal, you pound it in the powder, you put it in a jar. There's nothing else to it. It's not, I'm pretty sure you don't have to worry about it going bad either. So, yeah, I could make some in advance, and maybe I will, I don't know. But, uh, I'm going to get the activated charcoal for now. Uh, anyway... Yeah, she's, uh, I'm not gonna 
put her health out, out on blast or anything. She's having some problems right now. We'll get past it. So, if you wouldn't mind saying a few prayers for her, that would be great. I know I pray for her every day. But anyway, that's all I really wanted to talk about. So, I'm going to let you go. So, until next time, I'm my Victoria Karam. Stay safe out there.